Help with factoring. How do you find when x squared plus y squared minus xy minus x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0? I know x is equal to y is equal to 1 substitution, but I did that by purely guessing, and I would like to know if there is a more concrete way to find the solutions to the equation I mentioned it. Let's have a look. So, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation, and it might remind you uh, the equation of a circle or an ellipse. It may be a rotated version because we have the negative xy. So usually, for this kind of equations, we will have infinitely many solutions. But the truth is, for this one, we only have one, because the graph of this is actually just a point. So let me show you how I will solve this. There is actually a more elegant way in the comments on Reddit. I will show you guys a screenshot at the end. So I'm going to look at this as a quadratic equation in terms of y. I want to isolate the y first, and then observe what will happen after that. So I'm going to write that down first, y squared, and then here we have this term with the y, like what's that? I'm going to factor out the y, I will just say let's add negative x, and then we have negative 1, and then the y right here. And lastly, put the x squared, and this and that at the end. So plus x squared, minus x, plus 1. And of course, this is equal to 0. As you can see, we have a quadratic equation in terms of y, and we see that the a is just equal to 1, b is equal to this, negative x minus 1, and c is just equal to all that, x squared minus x plus 1. And now let's just go ahead and use the quadratic formula. y though, right here, that will be equal to negative b, which is negative x minus 1, and then do the plus or minus, and then the square root, and then inside is b squared, so negative x minus 1, square that, minus 4ac, a is 1, and c is that, x squared minus x plus 1. I know it's so strange, right, because we are trying to solve a quadratic equation, but instead of the quadratic formula, we have another quadratic expression. But anyway, no, over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. Now, clean things up a little bit. y equals, this is x plus 1, plus or minus, open the square root. Okay, so for this right here, let's just multiply it out. Negative x minus 1. Don't let the negative bother you. You can actually factor it out like this. Negative 1, and then x plus 1, and then square that. Negative 1 squared is just 1, so you just square this. So you just get x squared plus 2x plus 1. Don't forget the 2x. So that's the first part, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then distribute negative 4, yeah? So we have negative, and then we have 4x squared, negative negative, so plus 4x, and lastly, minus 4. And then all over 2. And finally, just clean that up a little bit. So we have y equals x plus 1 plus or minus square root. Here we are looking at x squared minus 4x squared. So that's negative 3x squared. And then this and that is plus 6x. And lastly, we have minus 3. And this is all over 2. Now, usually after we have this, we can just go ahead and plug in some good x values, work this out, and then get the corresponding y values. And that will be the solution for the original equation. However, if you just want to stick with real numbers, there's only one good x value that we can use for this. Check this out right here. Let me show you guys the graph of the inside of the square root. Here, let me just put down note. If we focus on graphing negative 3x squared plus 6x minus 3, let's find its vertex first by using the vertex formula. x equals negative b, which is 6, over 2a. a is negative 3. So this will give us negative 6 over negative 6. That will be 1. And then you see y will be negative 3 times 1 to the second power plus 6 times 1, minus 3. This right here will give us 0. So when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So we will have a picture like this. Here is the vertex 
1 comma 0 and now you see that because we know the coefficient of x squared is negative that means the graph of this will be opening downward like this so in fact in order for this to make sense if you don't want to use complex numbers this right here it's only non-negative only when x is equal to 1 because that's the only number that makes this equal to 0 so that you can stick with just the real numbers so as you can see we can only use x is equal to 1 and let's just go ahead and do that when x is equal to 1 plug in then we'll get y is equal to 1 plus 1 plus or minus square root of we know when x is equal to 1 this would be 0 per our computation earlier and then over 2 so this is just 2 over 2 so y is equal to 1 so the only answer for this right here is just 1 comma 1 yeah just like that and I'll also show you the graph the graph is just going to be a point like this so this is how I will solve it and now let me show you guys